Hello. Don't be mad at me, please. I know I've been neglecting you. I'm so sorry, but I'm going to make it up to you today because we have a box opening. <laughs> um, I've been really busy. So I've been busy with work and life stuff. Um, some good, some crazy, some challenging. Um, and I've I've been painting dolls and doing customs, but not a whole lot. So um, I'm getting back into things and I haven't really been super excited about dolly stuff, but I'm getting back into it. So uh, someone that I've worked with before or someone I met at a doll show, she's amazing. <laughs> she's so fun. Um, she ended up buying a silicone doll for me and then she had a baby up for sale um, as a collector. She didn't paint the baby, but she's a collector. I think she paints too, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, I just, this is the funniest story. So I really like this baby and I was like, don't need one, still trying to get rid of so many. <laughs> um, but I just really liked the style of painting for this baby. I've painted this kit before myself and I think she's adorable and uh, I wanted to get one, you know, I like this one, but I wasn't really sure. So what I did was I texted her and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm trying to resist your baby. And she offered me um, a way to buy, make it a little cheaper and not go through reborns.com. But as some of you know, PayPal has this option where you can do six months, no interest, paying off a purchase. So I was playing around reborns.com to see if I could use that. And then I accidentally bought the baby. I'm serious. I'm not kidding. This is not an excuse. <laughs> I accidentally bought her, but I'm not mad at myself for it because she's going to be worth it. So let's do this. Um, I was just, you know, it's good. I kind of need something exciting for myself right now. And as many of you know, I do paint babies. I do paint dolls, not as active as I once was, but I, I still have my studio set up. I still love it. I've, I still paint almost every other day or something like that. Like I still, I'm still pretty active with it, but um, I do not paint for myself. I cannot get excited about that. I wish I could believe me because the money I would save girl let me tell you but no I don't I just don't do that um I have kept some babies I've painted but not really I mean I've kept them for maybe a month or something like that just because I had fun looking at them and I really like the sculpt and I really like how the painting came out but ultimately when I put in all of that effort I want to get paid for it so that doll becomes um, you know a, a means to an end rather than like a collection piece or a piece of art for me or anything like that it's just if I paint that baby, I want the money for it and I want to move it on its way. It's just how it is. Some artists actually paint for themselves and keep them. And I, I think that's amazing. I also love supporting other artists and I admire other artists' styles. I think it's so interesting how everybody really has their own style, even though the techniques are kind of shared among most artists everybody has a different style and I think I'm a good reborn artist I like most of how my work turns out um, I like improving I like being challenged and continuously trying new things I love it all I originally came to this hobby as a collector so I have the heart of a collector and so I still like to collect dolls and what do you know that means I get them from other artists because of what I just told you. So here we are. Now this baby is not going to be unknown to most of you. It's not like a sculpt that is rare or hard to find. Those are typically my go-tos. Oh my gosh. That is adorable. 
I'm looking at my puppy Luna. Well, she's not a puppy anymore, but I call both of my dogs puppies. One of them is almost 10 years old and I call her puppy. But um, my little dog Luna, she loves to steal my stuffies. And uh, I'm keeping this far away from her. She would love that. So anyway, this is not a sculpt that's rare. Although, oops, the magnet came off of it. This is a cute pacifier. Oh no, I showed you. I showed you. Well, might as well. That's the kit we're getting. Um, element of surprise, gone. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, um, this magnet I'm going to fix. And this is a cute pacifier. I love it. Um, so this, as you know, you know what sculpted is now. It's not an uncommon sculpt. And I usually like to collect things that are um, rare. So I like dolls that are rare um, in my collection or, or hard to find or, you know, sold out, whatever the case is. Um, ooh, she's a heavy girl. She is my goodness. I haven't painted a Maddie in years, and I don't remember her being that big. So, this one is just cute. I have nothing else to say. She just really spoke to me, and you know how it is. That's what happens. That's cute. So, we've got a few little outfits, which is actually good because the last thing I need, you guys, oh my god, the last thing I need is baby clothes. Ask my best friend who's also a doll collector, she'll tell you, I got a big treasure chest full of clothes that uh, is too much, but I don't have a lot of sizes in this matty size, so these are going to be nice. So here are the clothes that were sent. They're super adorable. Thank you, Lindsay. Super adorable, and they smell all brand new which is lovely. I'm a sniffer. I like to sniff things, especially when they're coming from other people's houses and stuff, you know, and then you're always worried about smoke, smell, and all those things, which I'm not worried about that with this doll at all. But if it's someone you don't know, you get worried about that. Oh, wow. She's so beautiful. I'm obsessed with Motling. I just realized I'm obsessed with it. I just love Motling. I think that's the main thing that brings skin to life. And this girl has amazing mottling. It comes through the pictures. Usually it doesn't come through the pictures really well. You know, it's supposed to be subtle and everything, but I love when it's not as subtle <laughs> and not over the top. I don't want that. This is perfect mottling. Look at this toes. The way she, this, t this foot is so funny. And she's just like, oh, <laughs> I just love it. Oh, beautiful leg. I mean, yeah, I'll show you a close-up in just a moment. She's gorgeous. Just this painting style, her skin color. Um, I'm just, I'm here for it. I really like it. You know, I love it. And I do tell myself, okay, you like this doll. You're an experienced artist at this point. You can essentially mimic the things you love about the painting and just buy the blank kit and paint it for yourself and save a ton of money. And I get that's logical. I hear you, girl. I get it. You're screaming through the phone. You're telling me, no, you could do this, Jeanette. You could paint it like this. But there is a magic element to someone's special touch. And then, like I said, even if I got her close to the vision of this one that I really liked myself, by painting it, I just wouldn't have that connection. I wouldn't want to keep it. It's just a weird thing. So, hello, baby. Hello. She's humongous. <laughs> I'm trying to see how she's weighted. Okay. This is smart. The pull-ups. I might have to steal that idea. <gasps> there she is. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the eyes are so stunning, you guys. I was just really captivated. I was captivated with the hairstyle, the eyes, 
the blushing, just this artist technique. And I wish I could tell you who the artist was and I forgot. Uh, shoot. Hmm. That's not good, huh? You guys want to know. Who is the artist? I'll tell you it's someone pretty well known. I think it was, oh, I'll put it in the, I'll put a texty thing up there and tell you when I look it up before I upload this. Look at her! Gorgeous! And these capillaries, are you kidding me? Or these broken cap? I mean, let me show you. You know, it's always the small touches. And looking at other artists' work reminds me of that. So, look at her forehead. Right there. You see those? Look at that so realistic and look at the beautiful mottling not too much not too little just right especially for her age she's so beautiful what do you think what do you think she's amazing oh i love her she's so big does she look like me <laughs> She's so big. I just love this foot. I love how it just goes off to the side. She has like a ballerina foot. And her arms are not bent. So that's different because most babies, um, most of these dolls have bent arms. So it's kind of fun, right? Like. It's just different. She's got this little baby pimple right here. Are you kidding me? You're so cute. I'm happy to have her. I'm really happy to have her. She's adorable. So there she is. Look at that accentuated roll. Oh, so cute. I love it. Tell me she's not adorable, guys. And I love the hair. I mean, I just love her. I really love her. I've been doing some things to dolls that I have in my collection that I want to keep, which are very few. There's some that I will probably never part with. Um, because even if I don't interact with them or they're in my closet, you know, kept up somewhere, they just have a symbolism that is worth what they cost me. And I've been adding hair to dolls that had painted hair. I've been really into rooted hair because my collections changed so much over the years that I've noticed recently, oh my gosh, I hardly have any rooted hair babies. And then I, I changed that on two of them and I love it. Um, and I actually have other artists do it because for the same reason, I feel like if I do my work on this doll, it's not gonna have the same meaning to me. Um, there's a sentimental piece to this for me where I have a doll that was created lovingly and with a lot of hard work by another artist's hands. It's just a beautiful thing. And a lot of the times these artists have a style or a way of painting or rooting that I may not have and it makes me appreciate it more. I think supporting other artists when you're an artist is just a special thing to do. Um, so that's why I don't like to mess around with my own. Um, I do on occasion, don't get me wrong, but it's not my fave, you know? So anyway, I've added hair to some painted hair dolls through other artists' work. Um, and Maddie here has painted hair, but I just loved it. I just loved it. And we don't need no rooted hair. Uh, 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 uh. We don't need that. We're too cute. Let's try a binky on her. The one that she was sent with was adorable, but I need to fix it because in the shipping, it just went kaput. Oh, wrong way. Hold on. I also need to go in about two minutes, 
go back to work. So we're we're on good time here. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? She's amazing. I love her, you guys. I think I'm going to trim her eyelashes right here just a bit. That's it. But she's a perfect work of work of art. I don't want to mess with her. Um I do think I just want these a little bit trimmed, just a little tad, just in the inner corners, but she's just done beautifully, just beautifully, enough for me to say, yeah, she's coming home with me. Oh, I love her. I hope you love her. It was really good to make a video again, by the way. Sorry I've been out of the loop, out of YouTube, but I am back and I'm doing more videos. God, I love her fingernails. And her coloring here is so perfect. You know, it's got the purple tones. It's, I mean, it's, she's just done beautifully. She's done beautifully. There's just no way around it. The bluing here on her feet, you know, um, it's her mottling is just freaking gorgeous. I'm so obsessed with mottling. Um, her blushed knees the accentuated baby rolls. I love her. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you love her too, and I will be back soon. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeVille. Where does that come from? What movie? I don't know. Okay, so here we go. Let's admire her beauty. See that little pimple? It's a nice touch. <laughs> She's just cute. Let me pull down. Oh, gotta have the double chin. Gotta have the double chin. Okay. And these beautiful hands. Yep. Very cute. Very cute. Even some details there on her hands. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at those nails. You can't get much more right than that. When it comes to the nail beds. <clears throat> and her thighs. And her feet. Kill me. I love it. She's definitely my daughter, right? She's my girl. Um, with the thickness. Okay. Look at those veins, pretty cool. All the mottling. Gorgeous nail bed, nail beds, just gorgeous. Oh, that's not natural. <laughs> and uh, you know, she's very posable, <laughs> almost too posable. <laughs> so there's the bottom of her feet. Oh my gosh, it's not picking up. I, I've given up on expecting the camera to pick up the beauty, um, you know, even upgraded my phone, bullied myself in upgrading my phone at one point so I can make better quality videos here on YouTube and take better pictures, but it's still never going to be as nice as it is in person. And you all know that as avid collectors yourselves. And then let's peek at her hair. Look at that. Nice, nice hair. Oh, she's just really cute. She is overall a very adorable cutie. And there we go. Name suggestions, please. I have no idea. She looks so much like a Maddie that I can't even <laughs> think of anything else, but I don't want her to be Maddie. Oh, sweet baby. She's so cute, guys. Like, just, just adorable. Thanks for watching.